Happy Monday, my friends. Hope you enjoyed your weekend. Hope everybody who wanted to get a Ryzen 3000 chip would have been able to. Obviously, there was some news that came out over the weekend that we weren't able to cover, like the fact that AMD was like, yo, dogs, we're going to drop Navi pricing. We don't work on the weekend, the edit, edit just like, Anyways, a lot of people are actually assuming that AMD did that because they were trying, like they knew that they were gonna have to drop the prices and it was like this huge conspiracy thing. I really don't think that's the case because like retailers and distributors had to place their orders at the higher pricing before this even came out. So like this wasn't planned by AMD. They literally got screwed over by Nvidia dropping supers. And so that's their own fault for not knowing what the consumer is. But let's talk about Sponsor for today's video, Display. Click on the thing, Reese, thank you. Check out Dope Metal Prints at Displate.com forward slash UFD Tech Official. Enter UFD as a coupon code to save 15% off. You can get anime prints, you can get city prints, map prints, everything is amazing, gorgeous, nature, whatever you want. Pick it up at Display. dope stuff. All right, let's talk about what we have on offer today, which is stuff about NVIDIA's next generation of GPUs, because NVIDIA, not wanting to have, let AMD have any spotlight whatsoever, they obviously released the Super GPUs last week. They should be on sale tomorrow. And then they also have some information coming out about their next generation of GPUs, more or less known as the Ampere uh, architecture. That's the name that we're going for right now, but it's gonna be based on seven nanometers. And then there was a report that came out from the Korea Herald saying that they're going to be switching from their longtime partner of TSMC over to the new player in the game for GPUs, which AMD already has a partnership for, for mobile GPUs, and that's Samsung. Because of their lead on the seven nanometer EUV lithography, they're actually able to produce better seven nanometer plus. And even though AMD technically has the jump on them for seven nanometers with TSMC, you can see that AMD's architecture is, isn't really there to compete against NVIDIA on 12 nanometers, which is what the Turing is based on. So if you're looking at nanometers versus nanometers, NVIDIA has been able to make a much better use of their situation than what AMD can for their GPUs, because I mean, freaking, it took them getting to 12 nanometers to give us the RX 590 and that thing sucked at $270 anyways, because you could get a Vega 56 for $270 right now. Just. Fun fact. So that's the report that came out and initially NVIDIA said, we don't comment on rumors. <sighs> But then they released a further update stating that while we have always worked with TSMC and Samsung in the past, we will continue to do that with Ampere. And if you're not clued up on why they've worked with Samsung in the past, is that's because Samsung usually makes the VRAM for them in the GDDR6 at this point with Turing cards. So it could be that Nvidia is just trying to mitigate some of the disaster that could be going on and causing havoc between the relationship with TSMC, since that might have been an internal discussion that has been leaked, or they are still planning on using Samsung for memory only, but it does does look like Samsung might be picking up more business from them in the future. And with AMD's current partnership with them for mobile GPUs, it does look like Samsung has a bright future when it comes to GPU development. But in also more interesting NVIDIA GPU news, this one actually doesn't relate to consumers at this point, but this is something that we've talked about previously with their GPUs and how they're developing multi-chip modules, just like in AMD has been rumored to be doing for their GPUs, creating chiplets that can actually work together in an interconnected way and create a very decent setup. They've actually been able to scale 32 chips together that each run at four tops to bring a total of 128 tops together from 32 different chips. And while I believe that the top performance on the Turing cards is actually better than that. It's obviously using one giant die, whereas this could allow companies and uh, businesses to scale their hardware to the way that they want to. So having 32 chips, having 74, having just 12, something like that, it's gonna bring a lot more flexibility when it comes to GPU development in the future. And then just a quick little note for anybody who is interested in picking up an RTX 2070 super card. Fun fact, even though it isn't based on the 2070 die, therefore you can't use water coolers from the 2070 it is based on the 2080 die, and EK has confirmed that the 2070 Super can work with a 2080 Founders Edition water block. So just, just so you have that. But then in scarier news, let's talk about uh, 
Korean stuff again, because Samsung's Korean. Anyways, there's a whole new stuff that's going on when it comes to new trade agreements between Japan and South Korea, and Japan's ability to export vital chemicals to South Korea that's used in making memory, such as DRAM and NAND memory. Basically, the three chemicals are orthophosphoric, hydrobromic, and citric acid. Those are limited in the export agreements that might potentially ruin uh, some global memory supply as it might create an issue with the, the trade agreement that's going on right now where South Korea couldn't get these acids that they need in order to make the NAND and DRAM and could affect up to 70% of DRAM supply and 50% of NAND manufacturing in South Korea. So that's a big deal. We'll see if this develops anywhere. We could have increased memory pricing. We could go through another DRAM shortage where 16 gigs cost over $200 yet again, or it could be nothing and Ch Japan and South Korea actually work this out together. US and China aren't the only ones having a trade war, okay? The world's at trade war. My lord, is that legal? I will make it legal. All right, and then let's talk about something that actually has piqued my interest a lot. I know that our audience isn't really Apple, but I love my AirPods, okay? They're probably one of the best completely wireless in-ear earbuds that you earbuds that you can possibly get. They're amazing, okay? Whatever the price, whatever the sound quality, shut up, okay? I know how, but Sony is coming out with a brand new set of noise canceling in-ears that are actually getting pretty decent preliminary reviews, especially from this article from Engadget. They're gonna cost $230, which is quite expensive, but the WF-1000XM3s are premium noise canceling in-ear earphones, earbuds. I, that always screws me up. Anyways. They look amazing, they're apparently sounding amazing, and they've apparently also solved the connectivity issues that were on the first generation of these that Sony released. So these probably might be my next generation earbuds. And then in case I was talking about war, war earlier, let's talk about more war now, Russia? <laughs> apparently is going to be giving soldiers drones. Uh, and that's not necessarily something new, but it's gonna be more personalized to each kind of platoon. I'm not so clued up on uh, military terminology, which Jason is gonna cringe at. Yes, sir, nigga, fuck Elvis. But apparently, small bandits <laughs> of Russian troops are gonna have drones. And apparently the Russian government has said, not only are we gonna give them drones, but eventually we will be equipping those drones with weapons to do airstrikes uh, from remote locations. Warfare constantly changing. Thanks, technology. Really appreciate you. You know what else technology has brought us? This image, or detection rather, of spinning black holes. In case you want the specifics of how scientists were able to do it, it's quite complicated, including an X-ray observatory, gravitational lensing, micro lensing. It's complicated, but black holes spin and we have evidence of it now. And you know what else spins? My heart. When I hear about this, which is airplanes have landed, or a single aircraft has landed autonomously for the first time, which, I mean, this isn't necessarily unprecedented because there is an auto landing feature on cer certain commercial aircraft, but they're usually in communication, you know, with uh, what's it called, air traffic control and all that kind of stuff. Anyways, researchers at a university in Germany have been able to land an aircraft completely autonomously with no discussion with anybody. Screw those people who try to help us. Air traffic control, bye bye. You, I want autonomous cars just like I want autonomous planes. And then more war stuff. You ready? Okay, because a professor from what uh, UCLA University has been convicted of stealing and sending missile guidance chip technology from the US to China. He can face up to, I believe, 219 years in prison. Good job, UCLA professor. Just This is also like that uh, Apple engineer that like was trying to escape to China with at their self-driving car technology. You got attacked. There you go. More war stuff, Gears of War 5 also known as Gears 5. Uh, the multiplayer test starts on July 19th. That's the best transition I could have come up with. In case you want to get in on it, it's not uh, completely open to the public, but uh, you, you, you just pay attention to that. July 19th, two more weeks. Speaking of China stuff, which I did an article and a half ago, anyways, Apparently, the UK is not at all concerned about spy claims. I mean, what the the US on about? It's just, you, it's, or they know that they're spying and they're okay with it because Huawei is actually going to be building all of their 5G networks for four of the top carriers in the UK. So 
Great job. The US is like, don't use them. The UK is like, come on in, we'll take all of it. Just, just give us all of your 5G. And then speaking of the ban with Huawei and all that kind of stuff, there was discussion that Huawei would be building its own operating system for smartphones. And the CEO has come out swinging and say, it's gonna be faster than Android. Screw your slow crap, nobody cares. <laughs> But obviously there still is the challenge of getting apps on the App Store. I mean, even Microsoft couldn't compete with Android and Apple when it came to like the, the proclivity of the, the entire company behind it. And everybody was like, we don't want to develop for you. And then nobody ended up using their phones and now they're dead. And it's big Bill Gates' biggest regret. And then in case you thought SpaceX was the only company that thought that they could go to the space and give us internet satellites, you'd be wrong, Charlie, okay? Because Amazon, Jeff Bezos was like, hey, Elon Musk, I'm the better billionaire, okay? You're, you're more like Tony Stark, but I, I'm just, I, I went through the most expensive divorce ever. And I'm gonna put space satellites for internet in space as well. So there you go, because they're seeking the US's permission to launch 3,236 internet satellites. Great, Starlink, Amazon. I'd rather have Elon Musk controlling my data because then I know he just would look at my dank memes and be like, yeah. And then to end this episode of Hot News with a little something lighter, the former CEO of Uber, Travis Kalanick, <clears throat> has always stated that he had the second highest Wii Sports tennis rating on Earth. And that was because there was photo evidence of somebody who had a 2400 score in Wii Sports Tennis. Well, apparently due to some sleuthing and an interview with the person who had the 2400 score, he admitted that it was photoshopped because it was impossible. Wii Sports Tennis does not get to 2400 points. It has an asymptote at 2399. And so the former CEO of Uber technically has the highest Wii Sports Tennis score. That's the end of Hot News. You're welcome for that little bit of information. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our tech related content. Check out Displates at displate.com forward slash UFD tech official. Enter UFD as a coupon code to save 15% off on your order. And that's, that's it. I'm Brett with the Hot News channel. Thank you all for watching our internet stuff. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Love you too.